It'll come to me. Okay, this is the uh, August 13th, 2024 town board meeting. Uh, first pledge of allegiance. Um, all right, you leave this, please. I pledge allegiance, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Take a round. Okay, the next thing I need is a public hearing for Waystone and Senate zoning. We had that on here for many months. No more things. Do we have anybody online tonight? Yeah, Mike Phillips and somebody else. Okay. All right, so. Uh, First thing uh, from the applicant, let's see if they have anything to say on the Waystone project, and then we'll ask the public. Um, I think that um, I don't know that I have anything new to present. We've been working with the town staff to kind of refine the details and address all the issues that the board and the staff have raised. So I, I think that I don't really have anything to report, but if you have any questions or issues that need to Okay. Stress, and then you and the uh, applicants did receive the latest version right. from Ron, so you're, yes. you're okay with that. Yes, had a chance to review that. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Anybody from the public have any questions or comments on Whitestone? Anybody online? Staff? I believe we're ready to go. Okay, now we want to close the public hearing. And the next thing on the agenda is we pull the July 23rd town board minutes. Second. Motion by Nate, second by Lord. Any changes? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, privilege of the floor or public concerns? Any privilege of the floor or public concerns? Anybody online? Privilege of the floor or public concerns? I see, we have a scout in the back of the room. Do we have uh, getting some credit by attending a town board meeting? Yeah. Okay, great. Just make sure the town clerk's got your name or sign in there. We'll make an adjunct to the, the record of the minutes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, reports of staying committee, public works. Yeah, public works uh, had this morning at our usual time. We got our updates from water and sewer and highway and park. So, uh, water and sewer at the uh, treatment plant. Uh, the Patrick uh, primary care clarifier electrical issues uh, have been repaired and it's back online. Um, we talked to Almer Davis today um, on the roof repair. Hopefully, we can get that set up so we can get that finished. Uh, the digester one uh, tube blockage uh, that has been problem has been solved and back online. Uh, they can receive three quotes now for the rehab of the sand filter, uh, the final pump. So uh, the seal has been replaced. Along with the wear plate, and that's been refixed. Uh, bank A of the UV, uh, they uh, still have a communication error, and they are looking to hope to get that installed this week. Uh, and that, see here, we got some electrical quotes from Colosino coming in. Lift stations are routine maintenance is going on. Uh, the gauge replacements are also going on. And some of the improvements when they are needed. Other side, we now have five or ten meters that we can now uh, read remotely. Uh, they did a water service on County Road 41. A country Max water line is now in service. That's been finished. And plus, 
Hey, the foster truck is also back online because that's back from repairs. They fixed a water leak on Emma Lane and they had a water main break on County Road 41. There's odds and ends there's one resolution. We can talk about it if we need to, if, if necessary. As far as highway and parks, ongoing equipment maintenance, uh, roadside mowing. Uh, the trucks have been helping Victor do paving. We quite often go back and forth from town to town. Uh, they paved the Chandigarh Farmington Town Line Road on the west side. Uh, they've been out sweeping roads. They worked, did some shoulder work on Town Line Road also. Uh, we did have an accident with one of the truck, truck number 13. We're working on that. Uh, they've got some topsoil that they put on the Canada Town Side Road on that new sidewalk. Cold and place recycle on Shortsville Road. If they've been working on that, I think they've been that. Uh, they paved on Dole and Burtle Path Lane and Belmont Drive. And they're going to do more paving uh, next week. Because they're 819 starts in the park for mowing. The parks and the trails, they've been grooming the ball field, striking, striking fields. Uh, they've been working on the striking for the crosswalks, watering plants on 96, and they did some work at Pumpkin Hill Park back basketball court and helped uh, the highway move the water and bobcat, and they've been doing some flagging as well. They did a water leak at the bridge and took care of the plug toilet at the town hall. That's all I have. Yep, and we had one more. Uh, I went the waiver of the rule. Thanks for town operations. Town operations met this morning. We have made resolutions with all the legged. Uh, work is continuing on the town uh, tap sidewalk grant project that's on state uh, 96 state road route 96 county road 41 with Tenzian and Elizabeth Way. Uh, the design for the pedestrian bicycle bridge. Uh, is being renewed by Fisher Associates and the state DOT. And once the concrete is completed, uh, the contractor will restore the area and start installing black tops and doing the rest of the restoration. The Town Ag Advisory Committee met last Thursday. Um, we finalized a lot of the uh, wording on, on the um, change in some of the uh, portions of Chapter 165, the zoning law of the town code. Uh, it's, it's dealing with the a, Agriculture Conservative Overlay District, ACOD, and we're working on a draft, and we'll review it later on. We have an October 8th meeting, and hopefully towards the end of the year, we present it to the town board. Uh, there was a second meeting of the Park Recreations Committee, um, co enforcement officer, and the town director of development will give their report. Uh, pretty much the rest of the town operations works on the uh, website. That's um, about it. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Our reports to town officials, supervisors, just a couple quick things. Town budget process has started. The departments have handed in their budget sheets this week. The tentative budget should be completed by September 6th and presented to the town board on September 10th. Uh, at the county, tomorrow I have the afternoon, all afternoon meetings, government operations and insurance, and ways and means. Or committee meetings. That's all I have. Highland Parks. Um, <clears throat> so, quick note on uh, Farmington Grove Park is mostly complete up there. We've opened it back up. Uh, the parking lot's done. Um, the sidewalks are in. Grass is growing. Um, they still have the light poles put in yet, but um, it is open back up. Um, so people can go in there now and park the cars and play tennis or pickleball or use the use the playground. Um, we also um, you want me to bring up about the hail damage on all the vehicles we have. We've got to start getting those out to collision repair shops. Um, I did call a few today. Uh, Gerber collision with Victor. Uh, Macedon Collision and Macedon and RF Collision. I did not get a response. Anybody at RF never called back. 
uh, Masson and Collision and Gerber both have, I guess what they call hail specialists there to look at these vehicles. So Masson and Collision was like, well, if you can start bringing them over so we can start looking at them, you know, then we can, but they are months out before they'll be able to work on any of them. So, any of the collision shops? Well, the two that I talked to today, I didn't get a response back from RF collision. But yeah, I'm going to guess they're they're all in the same boat. They're all in the same boat. They're, yeah, but it sounded like the two they actually called in health specialists. I think Gerber. I think one of our insurance providers is Liberty Mutual, and they work with them. Um, um, so I guess we got to figure out what we need to do here because we got quite a few vehicles. Mm -hmm. Get them all in at one place if we're going to try to use other places. In September, we did receive what? Insurance checks um, this week for the vehicles. Obviously, we, we have a $2,500 deductible on all the vehicles, so we're Make a decision on some that well, let's not fix them. But I think that's a good possibility on a few of them that don't really need to be fixed. Yeah. We're close to being yeah. transitioned out, phased out, anyways. But I, I just wanted to tell words thoughts on we want to try and stick with just one collision shot. <laughs> so we get, you know, the same people looking at the dents and you know if the estimates are higher than the insurance then then they can negotiate or you want to go multiple ones so we're getting done maybe quicker we have how many years total was it uh so i had um well i had uh, really just mine at the highway um i think we had three park trucks that were you know, those are really minimal damage. I don't even think they met the 20. We haven't seen the price on those yet, mm -hmm. but the guy was talking to Jeff and he said that you know, it'd be better off just to have somebody come right there and maybe do the dents on those. They would send somebody there. That's what he was talking about. Um, so there's three over there. I mean, I've got a tractor, but that was very minimal damage. It's a white. Uh, Robin, how many did you have? I have five. I have four. So we got four. eight, ten, jokes. Yeah. Okay. Unnormal? <laughs> <laughs> well, normal. <laughs> well, the ones that were outside. How many were outside? Those were the ones outside. That's the number. <laughs> That's the general was the normal. I just don't remember that many. But there were a lot of them a little down. So mine happened to be outside. I mean, I always park mine outside the employee entrance, and when I leave, I set the alarm and I walk out. So it just happened to be out that day, and that's when it came. I mean, at the parks, you know, they kind of leave the the trucks, they back the mowers in the in the lean to back there, but they leave them hooked up so they're ready to go in the morning. So the trucks are sitting outside, you know, they've been doing that for the 34 years I've been here. <laughs> and we just, to be, we got a hell star. We physically don't have room enough to yeah. put them all inside. So. Right. 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 Ron, you did something? Yeah, had 55 vehicles total. Or do you two be? vehicles. So I hear you can get a hell of a deal on a Subaru over at Van Borden. So. Yes, oh, you can. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, she's, she's advertising now. <laughs> ben. Highly discounted. But you know, there there is an engineering firm that has an HR director, and she got her car replaced already. I mean, no monkeying around with that person. Just great HR person. I, I'm not going to mention any names. So, I think if we look at the vehicles that actually need to be fixed, and we get down to like five or six of them, that makes more sense. Just find one shot to do it all. Yeah, in the past we've worked with Mass and Collision and RF, but I think we've also gone to, now yeah, I don't know if it was been Gerber for that long. 
Who was it before Gerber there? Austin Spencer. Austin Spencer. Yeah. I don't know. Same thing. He's also one. It's the one with the Colonel Lotus mask. Yeah. 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 Ye
setting the uh, dates for the public hearing. So that should keep us busy. So that's that. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ron, Director of Planning and Development. Okay, well, we have several thousand feet of linear sidewalk installed already, and they continue to fill in the driveway crossings uh, along those corridors of County Road 4196, Mertensia, and Elizabeth Way. Um, the sidewalk is complete between Glen Carlin and Fairdale Glen, and uh, we'll be working to complete the sidewalk west of 96, on 96 west of Mertensia. The bridge design is finally in for the pedestrian bicycle bridge crossing the Beaver Creek. That will be reviewed by Fisher Associates and the state DOT. And Friday, they supposedly are going to be marking the rear property lines for the parcels adjacent to the Stone Dust Trail between Beaver, uh, the, the trail and, and County Road 41 sidewalks. Paddock's Landing was granted a 90 day extension. They're having some fun with the state DOT and the state DEC on trying to decide how to uh, best align the two driveway entrances that are required by code. Um, the sidewalk inventory continues with uh, Paul Crandall at Highway coming up with the total number of lineal feet. Somewhere in the range now of almost 30,000 square feet, our linear feet of sidewalk. The um, sureties update uh, for the site design and development criteria has been submitted to MRB and they're working on that. The new planning board member that you're about to appoint tonight um, is a very welcome addition, I mm -hmm. believe, to the planning board. Definitely. And uh, sky solar submissions were received today. So uh, we have the realignment of the road, the water line, the sidewalks, and all the connecting roads there too. So I think that with the 250 page SWIP report, we're ready to move forward with that project coming up next week. That's it for now. Yeah, I think that's it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here, Dave. Uh, as Robin said, the brickyard tank's progressing nicely. They did for the first lift yesterday. Uh, the only other thing is we're still reviewing the bids for the Collette and 332 and Mertensia water main replacement project. Thanks, Dave. Uh, Tessier's not here tonight. Recreation, Mark. Recreation uh, ended uh, the summer of uh, 2024 uh, this past Friday. Uh, we have about 250 to 260 kids per day. Uh, during recreation and about 180 uh, for each of our field trips. Uh, so uh, a successful recreation season, uh, making it through, you know, tornadoes, rain and everything. So uh, we are currently planning, uh, we got trunk and treat coming up, uh, which would be October, uh, October 26th, I believe. And then our uh, holiday party will be December, had it December 6th at the lodge. Okay. Have you, I know we're still getting into fall sports, but have you had any conversations with the uh, Beaver Creek Parks? Thank you. Field? Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> uh, uh, currently, right now, uh, Victor Girls uh, Youth Lacrosse is utilizing those fields. Uh, they're going to be using uh, both of those fields. Uh, they walked it the other day. Uh, they're going to uh, dot it out for uh, the parks guys to uh, be able to stripe it. And they'll be starting in uh, the first week of, uh, I believe, September uh, for like a six week program there. Do we have to buy the nets or they? No, nope, they're going to supply them. I told them at this point right now, uh, you supply the nets. Uh, we just got to look to, uh, somewhere maybe to secure them. Uh, so I'm working with them on that. Okay. Yep. We'll do. Very good. That's kind of what I was like threatened to turn into baseball fields if we didn't use them for lacrosse or soccer. Thanks, Mark. Yep. Uh, nobody from Agriculture Advisory Committee tonight? 
Next on the agenda is communications are on file. Reports and minutes are on file. And then the next one is to the resolution. First resolution approving final release of funds for release number two for the letter of credit for work within the Western New York Commercial Storage Site Plan Project in a total amount of $19,772.58. Mr. Okay. Mark, second my name. Any questions on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Two, resolution approving a partial release of funds number one for a letter of credit for work within the country managed site plan project. Net total amount is $288,137.35. Okay. Uh, seeing none, any questions on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Here's a resolution appointing Regina Sousa as a member of the planning board effective October 14th, 2024, with a term ending December 31st, 2025. Second. 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 Management uh, director, and it should be a great addition to the planning board. All in favor? Aye. 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 Board's resolution to, de to declare equipment surplus so it may be disposed of appropriately. So moved. Second. Wish my not with it. Yep. Ron and second my mic. And then we did reach out to all the departments, so hopefully we get everything. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Resolution authorizes the return of park reservation fee to Eric Crayola for the amount of $25. So second. Motion by Steve, second by Mike. Any questions there? All in favor? Aye. 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 Six resolution approving a partial release of funds, release number one, from the letter of credit for work within the GLN. Farmington Phase 1A project, the total amount of $332,058.35. So moved. Second. Motion by Mike, second by Nate. Any questions there? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Seven the resolution approving partial release of funds at number one, the letter of credit for work within the Farm Brook subdivision of phases 7A and 7B 2. Project in the total amount of two hundred and eighty eight thousand eight oh seven and eighty eight cents. So, sorry, where's my Steve? Second, and eight. Any questions there? That's like I said, is the first release. All in favor? Aye. 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 It is confirmed resolution authorizing a payment to Region of International for inspection and repair of the air conditioning system truck number 16, which is the cluster truck. The cost not to exceed $4,845.79. Second. Any questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 resolution offering a budget amendment transferring money from records management state aid and appropriate funding for the grant funding contractual in the total amount of $74,890. So moved. Motion my money, second my name. This is our. Third completion, and we're working on a fourth. All in favor? Aye. 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 And the resolution authorizing the budget amendment transferring money from DLT to town clerk overtime, town board, and central data processing in the total amount of $20,000. Second. Motion by Nate, second by Mike. Any questions there? All in favor? Aye. 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 Eleven confirmed consolidation of the Fox Road Water District extension into the Canadian Farmington Water District for the 2025 tax roll. Oh. Second. Push my name. Second my mic. So this road, like some other districts, this water district, like other water districts, had debt, and in 2025 their debt load is paid, so they won't get an additional tax. It'll just be added. Consolidated in the Canada Farmington Water District 
and pay the same rate as all the other customers will pay for 2025. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, the resolution authorizes the waiving development fees for St. John Lutheran's Church Community Agent Skull Project. So moved and second. Motion to second. Any questions there? All right. Always good to see good projects in the town. All in favor? Aye. 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 13, resolution authorizing the town of Hermit to inform enforcement officer Dan Delacorte to attend the New York State Building Inspection Conference annual business meeting and training on September 19th and 20th at Addison Hotel in Portland, New York, at a cost not to exceed $300. So, second. Of course, my Steve, second by Mike. Any question there? All in favor? Aye. Aye. 14 resolution authorizing payment to Dave Diggs for Memorial Plaque and Power Cemetery at a cost not to exceed $2,109. Second. What's my name? Second by Steve. Any questions there? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I'll abstain. My wife is on that. 15 resolution of approval for the town historian to apply for a marker grant for the Roman Lane. Colliery Foundation for a Patriot Marker to honor the men who have served in the American Revolution. So, second. Mike, second by Steve. Any questions there? All in favor? Aye. 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 16 is a confirmed resolution approving the mid year increase for highly employed Dead and Murphy at a rate of 96 cents an hour, effective payroll of 17, which is August. Oh. Second. Motion by Nate, second by Nan. And this is our administrator here. We left them off the list the last meeting. All in favor? Aye. 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 Seventeen, the resolution authorizing the adoption of local law number four, 2024, authorizing the amendment of the town's official zoning map for delineating the rezoning of land tax maps accounts 41.07-1-28.210 and 41.00-1-28.300 from PD plan development for the Glacier Lakes Water Park and the Conference Center and MPOD major thoroughfare overlay district to incentive zoning for the project known as Whitestone Incentive Zoning Project State Route 332 in Kind Road 41, with MTOD major thoroughfare overlay district adoption of the IZ and San Antonio district with conditions of approval for said project and acceptance of the zoning amenities with conditions for the project. So moved. Second. Motion by Mike, second by uh, Ron. Any comments, questions? No, I've just, uh, obviously, I've voted. Against this throughout the whole process, again, I think we have multi-family land that's already zoned for development. So I'd like to see that happen before we do more land for multi-family homes. Fair enough. I'll continue to vote up. Fair enough. I'm still not. I, I part of it. I, I don't think that there's a need for that multi-family. Like Steve said, I mean, I don't really. See that all the amenities are really in line with public getting when building an intersection. Maybe it's not a good idea to use that amenity. And basically, some sidewalks that connect the neighborhood to those sidewalks that kind of self serving for the project that I, I hadn't been favored for. All right, thank you. And, developer, I just we were aware of the conditions of the list and everything. Yes, sir. Very good. All right, at this time, all in favor. Aye. Aye. And two names? Nay. Three to two. Thank you. Motion passed. Aye. 18. We confirm the resolution authorized successful completion of probation for period for highway mechanic Carol Markraft with an increase of $1 per hour effective yeah. 17, August 4th, 2024. So moved. Second. Motion by Steve. Second by Ron. Any questions there? Uh, what we hear, Carl's doing a great job, right? Yeah, yeah. Great. All in favor? Aye. 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 
19 resolution authorizing the acceptance of the monthly report of the supervisor for July 2024. Second. Motion and a second. Any questions on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 20 is the abstract 15 of 2024 to pay the bills. General fund $191,168.95. Highway fund $18,820.41. Cranberry Drive water line $3,025. Sidewalk capital project $23,148.67. Retency line water line $1,400. Water tank repair, $26,404.92. 332 and collect road, $1,400. Online capital project, $2,384.86. Storm drainage, $3,893.85. Lighting district, $230.42. Sewer district, $302,147.99. Water District, $44,919.85. Payroll deductions, $24.85. For a total abstract of $618,969.87. Can I get a motion, please? Second. Motion by night, second by Ron. Uh, any questions, abstentions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. And no training under one hundred dollars. Uh, next is a discussion of late fee. Uh, and this one, uh, we believe, was actually in the hospital for the last thirty days that uh, water and sewer bill is due, and she asked to have us waive that fee on the late fees, and kind of agree with that. It's like twelve hours. Yeah. Any thoughts on that? Okay. Simple. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let Jen know when you learn. Thank you. All right, we have uh, waiver of the rules, at least the resolutions that were added uh, after the normal time frame. Uh, first one is resolution authorizing acceptance of donations for July 3rd celebration in the amount of $500. Um, wish my uh, mic, second by Steve. This is from Cato Vicious and Chef's Greek. Is that the last one? That's the last one, yes. Okay, very good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Second, the resolution to award a contract for the grinding of the brush pile at the town transfer station to green renewable energy that cost them to exceed $15,000 for each of the next two years. Second. Motion by Ron and second by Nate. Uh, this was an open RFP and we only had one full commitment. Actually, $5,000 or more than we paid last year. I guess we can expect to at least he guaranteed the same amount of money. Yes. Good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Reason resolution authorizing the remediation of the North Sand Filter Bed Wastewater Treatment Plant and the cost not to exceed $5,870. So, motion by Steve, second by me. There's more work to be done on the circuit. North Sand put the bed, but this is the beginning of the race. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, waiver number four resolution recall and amend resolution 275 24. Oh, second. Motion by name, second by Mike. Uh, again, we had. Approved the resolution last month to hire a zoning inspector. Um, that individual wasn't qualified for the county, but is qualified for the code 
consistent position. So we'll put this resolution basically says we select a candidate for but we must take the civil service test exam in the top three. Uh, but the, at least it's available for the assistant building inspector position to be filled. Questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, is there anything else to be brought to the board tonight? Comments, questions? If not, we do have an executive session. Uh, two, two sessions, but both short. Uh, Sarah will let you know when we come out of executive session and when we adjourn the meeting. So we don't expect any decisions that would require a resolution at this time. So. We have a motion to win in second session. So moved. Mike and May. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. 741. Thank you, everybody, for hanging in here. You about 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Yeah, I'm just telling you, you're getting right now. You don't have to go in the excitement session. Mm -hmm.